Good evening. It's me, Amiibo Doctor. Now, I know what you're thinking. Doc, even though I can't see you, I bet you look awesome. Actually, I don't. I don't have any hair gel in. Anyway, as you can tell by the title, the CPU meta, which is a group of people who have their CPUs fight each other, much like how we have our Amiibo fight each other, recently released their third tier list, which is what's showing on the screen right now. Um, this is the first tier list, I believe, since Joe, since, no, I'm sorry, since Terry released, and probably also Banjo, if I remember correctly, I might not be. Um, but if you look in the top two tiers, you'll notice something. Hero, Banjo, and Terry are all in those tiers, and Joker is all the way down at the bottom. That's pretty serious. So I've talked before about, and I, I wrote this um, in a piece on the AmiiboDoctor.com blog, about how... Um, the innate skill of the CPU tends to give us a clue of the intelligence of the amiibo when it comes out. There's quite a bit of a correlation between them. And just comparing the two tier lists, even though the two tier lists have different criteria for how they're determined, comparing the two tier lists is actually a really good map, if you will, of where they are in relation to each other. And I talked about all of this on the actual piece. I'm not going to rehash that, but I will have a link to Anyway, today we're going to cover the four unreleased amiibo that do have characters already in the game. As of this time, we don't even know who DLC Fighter number 5 is going to be, so we're just stuck with these four. So let's start with Joker. Now, if you look at the second from the bottom tier, that's low minus tier, you'll find Joker. Now, Joker really only has kills with Arsene. Um, he's not powerful enough. If this is news to you, I'm sorry, but combo-based characters just don't work that well in Amiibo. And the same is true for CPU metas as well. Um, they, they don't... Sometimes they have built-in combos, but otherwise it doesn't really work. I mean, 99% of the time, com computer opponents, whether they're Amiibo or CPUs or whoever, they can't combo. So Joker really only gets his kills with Arsene, and he doesn't even use Arsene that well. Um, from what I understand, he doesn't kill with Arsene very well, and he's probably going to have an equally hard time in Amiibo just based on his CPU AI. So it's it's a bit of a shame to hear that um, Joker might be wasting Arsene. Now, with Amiibo, we can get him to behave differently, so maybe we'll be able to teach him to use more smash attacks, use more side B, um, something of that sort, maybe even some up air comboing like what I've done with my Sheik, but we'll we'll have to see. I think it's okay to be pretty skeptical about Joker's success right now or at least his chance of success. Now, Hero is in top tier, not top plus, but top tier. And as he was explained to me, Hero is the casino character. He's just plain old RNG. Now, he gets kills without crits. He's got the that powerful forward smash and the powerful uh, down smash as well. And his weight keeps him alive quite a long time, which is good, because it is sort of a weight-based scene, unless your name is Me Gunner or Little Mac, or Olimar. Maybe it's not that weight-based of an amiibo scene, or CPUs. Anyway, uh, so his weight is what keeps him around, but his spell set is really what sets him apart. Based on my own knowledge of the character, and based on some of the opinions that I've heard, um, his spell set really gives him a hell of a lot more to work with than anyone else, but he doesn't use a lot of it correctly. So, Joke, or I'm sorry, Hero has like, I don't know, 20 spells? Something like that? And then he has Hocus Pocus, which has all of its different effects. Not all of them are good. So sometimes he just gets bad RNG. He'll have like Metal Slash and a Kamikaze and Bang and Zoom. And he's on stage and there's nobody in front of him. There's no, nothing good, you know what I mean? Um, apparently he will also sometimes use Kamikaze. Which is... You wouldn't expect that. You would expect him to do something smart. So, anyway, he doesn't use his spells um, that well. Uh, hopefully, when the Amiibo comes out, we'll be able to teach him to use neutral special, uh, side special as well. I I expect, and I'm going to get into more of all of these Amiibo when their Amiibo get closer to release with their own unique videos, but I expect that his fully charged side special, if he can fully charge it, will probably be a meta killer. Um... From what I understand, though, because Supernova has already patched in Hero into his game, and he has a little bit of footage, which I haven't been able to get a hold of, uh, but the Amiibo AI has fixed some of the spell issues, but the character's really going to hinge on how well does he use MP. The CPU has a problem with preserving MP, but the Amiibo might not. Moving on to Banjo, 
who is in top plus, that's all the way at the top of the screen. So Banjo and Kazooie actually use their projectiles correctly. They use the grenades properly, they use the eggs properly. I think those are the only two projectiles. But they just don't use them as complex as people use. So, you know, when you see a Banjo player play, they'll like drop the grenade and then they'll hold on to it and then they'll get hit. Kind of like what Snake does with C4. They'll use that to recover or they'll use it as a mix-up tool or something like that. The CPU doesn't really do that, but he does use it properly. So he's not going to be killing himself with a grenade like Snake will. Now, he can kill with the typical aerials that you would expect, which is forward air and back air. But more importantly... He can land KOs with Wonder Wing. As it was explained to me, a uh, down throw to Wonder Wing is something that the CPU likes to do. And if the Amiibo likes to do that, whoo, mama, oh, this is going to be fun. Amiibo don't typically grab or throw, but you can kind of teach them to do it. So a down throw to Wonder Wing combo for Banjo, that would be sick. It would probably be up to me, Gunner, to, to beat him if that was sort of the... Or in center, well, yeah. <laughs> Incineroar is probably going to get banned soon, but it would probably be up to me, Gunner, to beat him if that were the case, and the Amiibo ended up working that way. But for now, that's how the CPU operates. Like, down throw to Wonder Wing, done. So there's enough room that the Amiibo AI could probably still screw him up, but given how solid and tight of a character moveset Banjo has, and given how well the CPU handles him, it seems pretty Last and definitely most is Terry at top plus tier, at the top of top plus tier, actually. He is definitely looking to be possibly the Bowser, uh, as it was explained to me, the Bowser of the CPU meta, and I can see why. He just shows up, and he just, like, dominates and destroys. And it's kind of like, whose idea was this? You know, I feel like a guy sitting at a deli counter looking at a weird sandwich. Who ordered this? You know what I mean? So, the CPU uses Go moves correctly. Those are the moves, the two different moves that he acquires when he hits uh, 100%, and they're very, very powerful. Huge hitboxes, hard to block. You're familiar with these if you play online, I'm sure. The AI can actually true combo into Go moves, at least the CPU can, but without having Go moves available, then the CPU just functions similarly to Ryu. You, it, it makes sense. Um, I got a lot of flack for this when he released, but I compared him to Ryu. I was like, well... You could probably play both of them fairly similarly, considering they have a lot of the same moves. And the CPU reflects that as well. Um, I'm told that it's a tad spammy without the Go moves available, but the CPU can use Power Dunk very easily. So Amiibo typically don't jab, but we might be able to get the Terry Amiibo to use Jab, Jab, Power Dunk, and therefore lose all of our friends in the Amiibo scene if we do. Um, as it was relayed to me... Terry is the only character that the CPU meta, or at least Anime Chu, has considered banning because he is that overpowered. Um, it really sounds like just looking at how he handles on paper that he might be the next Bowser or Incineroar of the CPU scene. Who knows? Um, when, when the Amiibo comes out, we are definitely... Definitely going to have to take a look. I'm, I'm sure Supernova has already modded him in and maybe somebody else outside of the Amiibo scene. But uh, dang, we are going to have to keep watch on at least three of these four characters. So Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And by watching, I mean listening, since I didn't really have anything interesting going on on screen. And stay tuned to the Amiibo Doctor YouTube channel for more updates.